Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM Adobe Effect extended model for today's second video. So this is the 42 day slash six week weekend for the UK and Ireland. And I should get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video release today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've got weekend forecast and a 10 to 14 day on the way today as well. So please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Show to everyone for doing that. For guys, well, thank you so much everyone. And thank you so much ecmwf.int for supplying the charts of the day as well, by the way. Show the GC. Right, let's start off with week one mean sea level pressure anomaly taking us from the 9th through the 16th of September next week. Looking cool and unsettled. High pressure in the Atlantic with mean sea level pressure anomaly heading up towards Greenland, Iceland. Trough of low pressure over and to the east of the UK and Ireland, and winds coming down from a northerly direction, therefore, or certainly northwesterly. 500 millibar height anomaly looks very similar. Trough of below average heights across the north and west of Europe, above average heights out in the Atlantic, and the jet stream, therefore, doing something a little bit like that. So, we're playing some cool side of the jet stream uh, next week with the UK and Ireland coming out with below average temperatures by about 1, 3 degrees below normal. Even cooler than that through uh, France and down into Spain, 3 to 6 degrees below average through there. So, a very chilly week to come next week. Uh, precipitation wise, so it's close to average. Notice most parts of Europe looking very wet. We're actually uh, near normal. And in the north, a little bit drier than normal, normal which is perhaps a bit surprising there. Across parts of Scotland, slightly drier than average. <coughs> so, a cool but not overly wet week next week. Week two will be the 16th, 23rd of September. So, uh, that week has high pressure up towards Greenland and Iceland. Low pressure is out in the Atlantic. Winds would be coming in probably more from an east or southeasterly direction with that. So, it should be a little bit warmer anyway, I would have thought. 500 millibar height shows uh, above average heights taking over across the North Atlantic into uh, northern parts of Europe. Again, wind should be coming in from like an easterly direction there with that. Temperature anomalies are lifting up. So not overly hot, you know, at all, but certainly not as chilly as it is in week one anyway. Temperature anomalies recovering close to average, maybe ever so slightly above. And precipitation winds. Uh, we're in a classic scenario of drier than average to the north and wetter than average to the south. Okay, well, week three will be the 23rd to the 30th of September. And uh, that final week of September, again, showing high pressure sitting to the north and the northwest of the UK and Ireland. Low pressure out to the Atlantic. And there's some high pressure through central parts of Europe as well. Quite a complicated MSLP. Let's have a look at the uh, 500 millibar heights. Again, we see above average heights from the North Atlantic extending into western parts of Europe there. The temperature anomaly is slightly above average. Again, nothing to get that excited about, but it's like to a degree above normal anyway. And as far as precipitation goes... Weak, weakening signal, as always, because we're three weeks out. But uh, signal to be driving average to the north and wet of an average to the uh, west and to the southwest. Week four is the 30th of uh, September to 7th of October. Here we go. Oh, well, oh, well, that week looks a little bit more unsettled, though, with lower pressure coming back in from off the Atlantic, maybe. 500 millibar heights showing that... Um, We've got high pressure across much of Europe, though, and uh, high pressure towards Greenland as well. Could there be some low pressure coming in through there? Maybe. Let's put in a uh, question mark. Have a look at the temperature anomaly. Again, a little bit above average. Not uh, anything to get that excited about, but certainly on the slightly mild and average side. And looking wet as well. So, uh, first week of October does turn uh, wetter with low pressure coming back in. From off the Atlantic again. Week 5 will be the 7th to the 14th of October. This is it. 
Oh, well, now, very uh, mysterious now. Let's put a question mark. Not clear what's happening there. Going to the 500 millibar heights. Oh, well, that's showing some higher pressure, though, out in the Atlantic and uh, ridging into the west of Europe. Could be some low pressure up here. We might send projection of wind flow on more of a northwest southeast alignment. The temperature anomaly, again, close to average, not anything to be that excited about. And the precipitation wise, very weak signal now. We're five weeks out, but perhaps, if anything, on the slightly wet side. And then finally, week six will be the 14th to 21st of October. Let's have a look. Ah, now this is ah, now this is a change. High pressure building through the uh, west of Europe. That might drag up some quite warm air though from the south and from the southwest. 500 millibar height shows a big area of high pressure dominating across Western Europe as well. Temperature anomalies, a little bit above average. And finally, precipitation anomalies, weak signal, but possibly a bit drier there. Okay, so a bit of a mixed bag. Every week looks uh, a bit into beach shoe, doesn't it? Uh, so, a lot of intra-week variation. That's how it's looking today, anyway. And uh, we shall see how it all works out. Remember, just a snapshot of what the model is showing. So, it could look completely different when we look at this again on Wednesday for the extended European outlook. And then next Saturday for the UK and Ireland focus video. We're going to be back a little bit later on with the weekend forecast and you take the 14 day. Come back for that shortly for this week's EC42 day. That's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye for now.